Hey guys, it's Monica. This is going to be a quick sort of wig chat. And what I'm going to talk about, and this is actually by popular request, <laughs> I'm going to talk about the shade called Shaded Cappuccino in the Raquel Welch wig line. This is probably my favorite color. It really is. On my head right now, and this is probably one of my oldest wigs that I currently have, but on my head right now is Editor's Pick. I think this is at least two, maybe three years old now. This is in the color Shaded Cappuccino. I also recently bought Unfiltered by Raquel Welch in the exact same shade, Shaded Cappuccino. And I also bought Upstage by Raquel Welch in the exact same shade, shade of cappuccino. So what I want to really show you, I'm going to turn around, is that even though this is the exact same shade, and, and it's probably a minor difference in the blending, but no, in my opinion, two wigs are going to have the exact same blending. So my editor's pick, my, probably one of my all-time favorite wigs. I just, I love this wig. I think though for me it's too um, dressy per se, even though it's, it's kind of a, a casual, loose, curly look for me. It's very different than my bio hair. Obviously I don't have this volume. I mean, don't any of us wig wearers, I mean we don't have the volume that our wigs have. It, it just isn't going to be. But for me, it's a very more of a casual, not a casual, it's more of a dressier, I don't know, it's just more of a dressier look. I, I can't picture myself walking along the beach during the day. I can picture myself going out to dinner at night at the beach, and I've done that. I brought these when I've gone camping, but this isn't going to be a beat around the campground look. Unfiltered is a little bit more casual, and I'm going to put it on in a minute because with unfiltered, I just want you to know that the unfiltered is more of a blonder around, the highlights are heavier around the face. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to actually hold them both this way so you can see the back. Upstage, unfiltered, on my head, editor's pick. So don't be disappointed or you know too concerned if you get a different variation I've had some people say my shaded cappuccino is a lot darker than yours well you know what when I have the lights on this is going to be bright when I turn this light off which I'm going to do right now that's without the light on so that would probably be you know, I've got a bright, I've got a window light behind me, but that would probably be more of a everyday, uh, you know, natural look. I'm going to turn my light back on. The light obviously just brightens up, especially if you're in a darker room. So I'm going to put this one on. I'm going to put that on, take this off, and I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys can pick up on the more chunkier, blonder highlights in my unfiltered. I've seen other people's unfiltered and their highlights are a little bit different. So when I first got unfiltered and I said, oh my gosh, I said, I didn't, I didn't really like how light the highlights were around my face. And I was like, I looked at my, my editor's pick and I'm like going, the highlights are completely different and you may not be able to pick up on it but they are this has a lot more chunkier blonde or the platinum highlights than this does or at least it appears that way to me so editors pick unfiltered upstage same colors the different shades that the wigs have even though they're saying they're the exact same color and they are so and then questions on how do you care for them so whether or not you are going to be a, um, a fan of the heat defiant wigs 
or you just want pure synthetic. Do they, I mean, this one is probably three years old. I've taken extremely good care of this wig. I've worn it outside in windy conditions, and this is a longer wig, longer than this one. I've worn it outside in windy conditions, but when I come in, I try to really gently comb out my ends, and I always will put it on a wig stand as quickly you know, as, as possible. I have the, um, the collapsible ones, and then I have a few of the styrofoam heads. Now, I've heard that you shouldn't be using the styrofoam heads if they're too big because they could stretch out a wig. So, I, I don't know if that's true or not. I just bought small ones. Editor's pick, unfiltered. Amazing, huh? Now, I'm gonna put my third one on and I'll be right back. This is actually the one I wear the most. When I say it's the one I wear the most, I think that to me this looks the, the most like my own. Like when I wear this, it's not like such a huge shock between my bio hair and this hair. Unfiltered. Editor's pick. Same colors. Different styles. Upstage to me is a more refined look more of a classic type of a look for me. Um, I don't. I haven't combed it out, so I don't know. I'll do a quick spin, but it's just more of a classic look for me. The editor's pick, again, is one of my all-time favorites. I absolutely love this wig, and I love the style, but I think it's just the color that I love so much. So anything for me in shaded cappuccino super works. What do you think? Caring for these wigs yeah, they take a lot more care, but if you are gentle with them, they will last a long time. And if you really fall in love with one of these, then maybe you should have a backup, you know what I mean? Because I know a lot of people will actually buy a backup of a wig that they really love. And I think that's not a bad idea at all. No. I just wanted to show you the three color differences. The exact same shade. Shade of Cappuccino, Raquel Welch and the differences. Now, editor's pick is a little bit longer. Unfiltered is a little bit shorter. And of course, upstage is really short. Hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.